Hi there, my name is Miles, I'm the head trainer at Mixology Group. I've been perfecting my skills for the last 20 years. Today I'm going to show how to make an espresso martini. Now the ingredients for this are super simple. We're going to use some vodka, some coffee liqueur, some espresso and a tiny little bit of sugar to taste. All we need first is our cocktail glass. I'm going to fill this up with some ice just so it can chill down. And again, we're always going to start with the cheapest ingredients first. Now here's the difficult part. Not everyone has an espresso machine at home. So my little hack for this particular drink is find yourself some really good instant coffee and just double the recommended dose from the back of the box. Simply make your coffee and then ensure that it's nice and chilled. Now, how much you use is a little bit of subjecture here. Depends on how strong you like your coffee flavor to come through. So I'm gonna go for 40 mils of our coffee. <music> And simply pour that into the tin. Now please note that I haven't added any ice yet. If you add ice, you need to work really, really fast. So we'll leave that to the end. Here we go with our sugar syrup. I'm not a massive fan of sugar in my coffee, so I'm just gonna add in one bar spoon, which is equivalent to five milliliters, and drop that in. So now it comes down to the coffee liqueur. So the amount of coffee liqueur we're gonna add is a very simple 20 mils. I'm gonna use a locally sourced one. This is Madame Jennifer's cold brew coffee. A little bit less on the sugar, uh, which is why I added in the spoonful of sugar earlier. Next up, we're gonna use some vodka. And I'm gonna drop in 40 mils of vodka. So this drink is a shake and drink. I'm gonna use my cocktail shakers today, but at home, if you don't have any of those, by all means, use a jam jar with a lid or anything that is safe to shake a cocktail in. So I'm gonna grab my tin, fill it up with some ice, pop my big tin on top, and give it a really big shake. Now here's the key thing for making really good espresso martinis. All you have to do is shake it really, really hard. Now to separate the two tins, we're just gonna give it a little tap and it'll break open the two tins for me. We're gonna discard our chilled water and ice and I'm gonna grab my Hawthorn strainer and I'm gonna grab my fine strainer. Now this is optional. You don't have to use one if you don't have one, but alternatively, of course, you could just use a fork or any form of strainer you have at home. Now the garnish for an espresso martini, one coffee bean for health, another coffee bean for wealth, and of course, the final coffee bean for happiness. And here we go, guys. Here's our espresso martini. Cheers.